Hey, it's Brian Coleman here with Main Street Home Loans, and this is Three Minutes or Less. Hey, it's Brian Coleman here with Main Street Home Loans. This is Three Minutes or Less. Joining me today is my good friend, owner of the Shore Group at Berkshire Halfway Home Services Real Estate, Mr. Andrew Undham. Hey, thanks for having me. Excited to be on Three Minutes or Less. I love it, man. Let's do it. Let's get do that it. clock going right into it. Uh, why real estate and how did you really get started in real estate? You know, I knew I was always a good salesperson. And if you're going to sell something, typically the biggest thing a consumer buys is a home. So that's a good thing to sell. Right. And I got into it, um, you know, after college, I was selling cars for a short period of time. A manager from Ryan Homes said, you should sell homes. I said, sounds better than this. Started selling new homes and then got into the brokerage from there. Awesome, man. So you never know where you're going to start. Fantastic. Best advice you can give a young entrepreneur, real estate or not real estate? I'd say a jack of all trades makes minimum wage. You got to master something. So you have to commit and be excellent at your craft. We're choosing to try to master the practice of selling residential real estate, uh -huh. but that's key. And I like that phrase. A jack of all trades makes minimum wage. Right. Be the master of something. Be the master. There you go. Great advice. Home life. We talk about it all the time. Mm. Family, kids, wife. How do you manage it all? I've been um, so fortunate to have the most amazing wife, much awesome. like yourself. We both have three kids. And the one thing that kind of keeps me grounded is knowing I'm going to be home every single night for dinner. I get to go home to four people who love me. You got a family that loves you and that keeps you going. Keeps you grounded, keeps it happy. It's what we do it for, right? Exactly. Guys, family is everything to us, absolutely. Biggest challenges you face on a day-to-day -day basis with your team? It's tough to want to, well, we're trying to grow, and I think most teams are trying to grow, and you want people to come with you on your journey, and we're trying to get to 1,000 units a year, and um, it's been tough, but we're doing great. The hardest part is a lot of people are interested in that, mm -hmm. but they're not committed to that. Got it. And it's our job is to find the people who are committed. Right. And look, it's not everybody, right. but the people who are committed you know, you can grow with them, and sometimes you, you you find you're trying to grow a team. Everyone's not the right fit, and that's okay. Right, absolutely, definitely with the different personalities you deal with all the time too. I'm sure it's tough and getting yeah, through that. Tough. But you've done a great job, obviously, so far. Client retention, loyalty gaps. I watched a video you posted realty. Clients for life. How are we doing that? How are we staying important for people to come back to us and use the short group again, time and time again, as clients for life? There's only one way to do it. And that's for you as a real estate professional to actually impact the outcome of the transaction in a fashion in which your client wins big monetarily. I want my clients to win. I know I, I can help them win with relationships, yeah. with tactics, with sales negotiation, marketing, digital influence, whatever. And that's how we see people keep coming back to us because they say, look, I'm not trying to gamble with my equity. Right. Hire the pros. Awesome. Great stuff. Uh, lightning round time. Got okay. some questions for you. Answer the best you can, quick and short. I Ready thought that was lightning. Okay, that was a lightning. We're lightning right now. Here okay. we do it. Ready? Favorite golf course you've ever played? Kiowa. Kiowa. All right, South Carolina. Awesome. Um, most influential person in your life? I'd say my parents and my wife. Parents and wife. All right, good enough. Uh, what was your first car? First car that I bought? Yeah. Or that I had, well, I had my parents had got me a GMC Jimmy. It was actually my brother's. I inherited that. That was great. Two 10 inch subs in the back. Nice. High school. Nice. GMC Jimmy. Terrible car. Hey, but it got you A to B, right? Mm -hmm. That's a right. Little bit. Yeah, for a little bit. Uh, most famous person you've ever met? Probably oh, a lot of them. Golly. Top of your I head. I just met Ryan Serhan. There He's you go. Famous. Ryan Serhan. How you doing? He's Check out famous. our video, Ryan. Cal Ripken. Cal Ripken. There you go. First client sale. Who was it? First client sale? Yeah. Carl Coos. Carl Coos let me list his house in Dundalk. And uh, we listed it and sold it, and he's still a client and a good friend today, Carl Coos. Awesome. Fireman. Cli client for life, Carl. There we go. Last question. Only can eat at one restaurant the rest of your life. Where are we eating, Andrew? La Tolteca Bel Air. La Tolteca Bel Air. Forget Three minutes it. or less, guys. Thanks for joining me today, Andrew. This was awesome. I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Thank you.